What's something that is on BBC Two? Uh, Stag. God, he's good at this. Seamless, that was. Yeah. Uh, which is on uh, 9 p.m. on Saturday. Again, an odd time. Is it 9 p.m. on Saturdays or later? 9 p.m., but it goes on till later. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't know if it's 9. I had a feeling it was like 9.45. No, it's oh, okay. 9 o'clock. It is a very peculiar... T- mm. Not Probably that there's a wrong or a right time. <laughs> no. But, I mean... It, does feel, it doesn't feel, feel like... I mean, BBC Two doesn't do a lot of stuff on Saturday nights anyway, does it, in terms of well, new But shows. what I'm saying yeah. is, at some point, because over Easter, the snooker starts, so it get, but it'll get pushed a weird... Well, well, no, this, is only, finish, it's... this is a three-parter, so it's oh, finishing well, go, this then. Saturday. Yeah. Um, so... Me. Yeah, uh, this is uh, by Jim Field Smith, who did uh, the Wrong Man's, which we all enjoyed, and uh, George Kay, who uh, his uh, IMDb profile said he uh, created the first series of The Choir. I'm not quite sure how. He also, wow, is he also related to Peter Kay? Not yeah. as far as I know. Gary. I thought you were going to say The Wire. Then I was all ready for a bit of no, you know. No, The Choir, not The yeah. Wire. Yeah, the, the two. No, you're just imagining Gareth Malone like... in Baltimore, aren't you? <laughs> Go and get off my patch. <laughs> well, sing. Um, I'll sing at your ass. This stars yeah. uh, Jim Howick of, uh, I suppose, Peep Show. He's probably best known of for. Of everything, I think, now. Uh, and also, uh, he'll be in another show that we'll talk about in a moment. And he's uh, Yonderland Horrible Histories as well. Uh, he plays yeah, Peep Ian. A, a jo- I said Peep Show. <laughs> Did you? I, I tune I out. can confirm he's a pizza. It, I wasn't. Ian, a sort of mild manner geography teacher who turns up for the wedding of his future brother in law, played by uh, Stephen Campbell Moore, both of whom were in the wrong man's in sort of smaller roles. Um, and it's basically a hunting weekend in Scotland, um, and things start to go awry, people start getting killed off, and it's basically then turns into sort of a fight for survival. Um, Luke, what did you think of this, and, the, and specifically the tone? I think we both had similar feelings on this, didn't we? It was really weird. Um, the tone is very oppressive at times, mm. in as much as, you know, they turn up, it's it's scary, it's in the middle of nowhere, there's the rain slashing down, there's thunderstorms, everyone's a bit peculiar. And I was a bit overwhelmed by the tone, and, and sort of, sometimes a show can have a tone so strong that you miss what's going on in the show because the tone takes over and uh, I nearly very nearly gave up on Stag but something kept me going I'm not sure mm. what it was I think it was the Jim Field Smith connection yeah it doesn't have the it... charm of, of the wrong man's but I think as it goes on you get that you get a similar feeling uh, sort of things about these characters because another thing about these characters apart from the Jim Howitt character is that they're all quite arrogant financial mm. types uh at one point the character played by tim key describes them as the worst kind of people but as you I... see on they've got all these sort of insecurities things that they're ho- holding back uh one of them's gay one of them's impotent and mm. it just also oh, infertile sorry not impotent and it, as it goes on <laughs> somebody was about to write in at the same time you get this sort of action horror backdrop as i said yeah. the other week sort of deliverance style and then it sort of plays into why are all these men together? Um, you know, how, how, who is it? Why yeah. is it that they're being killed off? So it's a comedy where I don't think I laughed once throughout the two. I certainly smiled mm. and I certainly enjoyed it, but I never actually laughed. But it doesn't matter. No. Because the story is fu- interesting I think enough. I found it funnier in the second, I think the second episode, because I've seen all three now, and the second episode mm. I think is the strongest. Uh, I have to. I think uh, Jim Howick is very good, but also Rufus Jones as this sort of mm. um, TV executive who keeps trying to get um, what's it called? Something for the homeless scheduled on oh. ITV Two. Uh, oh God! Something that Caroline Flack was <laughs> yeah, a part yeah. of, which just feels uh, really yeah. believable, doesn't it? His yeah. character feels as as both of us have been sort of uh, in a similar room, a, a similar room, the same room as similar types of people to this. Yeah. I think we can sort of see how based in reality this character is. But definitely an, an odd show, unnerving at times, but interesting and unique concept. Yeah, it's one I'm going to remember, I think, and it's one I'm going to enjoy. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing how they resolve it. And I think, unfortunately for everybody involved, it will be one that just passes the majority of people yeah, which by. Which shouldn't. Gary, are you going to check this out? 
Well, th- th- I'm sort of listening to your conversation and wondering whether That's... I am. I've got it recorded, <laughs> but I'm not sure. I, you, neither one of you have kind of sold it that much. No, it is. It it's is good. really. I we should yeah. say it is really good. Yeah. But like I say, it's not a comedy where you're going to be your sides are going to be. It's not a comedy. I would say it's not well, really the, the, the a comedy. The description was black comedy, and that yeah, I mean, was like, yeah. that's like a Shakespeare comedy. You know? The wrong man's oh. had a lot more slapsticky humour in it. This doesn't have that. Well, the whole it's James sort of... Corden character was there for the yeah, last. Yeah, this is sort of So if this hasn't got it, then... It, the, the, the thing, I suppose, it comes from the fact that they're on this stag weekend, but as well, they're sort of being bumped off, and there's that great scene, I think it's in episode two, where they have that toast or they're drinking and he doesn't do the thing with his pinky finger. And, then... and I was, there was an element there, as daft as it sounds of, and then they were none. Mm. Where you're just waiting for the next person to come to a grisly and end. And obviously so the it... most ridiculous point of it is that the whole in the whole thing, Stephen Campbell Moore is wearing a pink bunny outfit. Is it pink bunny outfit? But no, pink yes. stag outfit, isn't he? Stag, yeah. yeah. It's in the title. Yeah, 